Hello, me fixing everything, and because there is always something to be fixed, let's talk a little bit about um, recovery of SSD. This one got burnt last week from nothing. Yeah, it was just working, and it stopped after two hours. It started again, and then stopped, stopped again. So you can't really like these HDDs. You can't really see the problem coming. Now. I would recommend buying good quality brands. What is a good quality? I don't know. I was thinking this is good quality. This is very poor quality. The price cannot be a factor. Now, in SSDs that are not good quality, they put all kinds of components from board to board. Everything is different. So when you get to the problem like this one, can be a few things. This is what is what you can go in to find on the inside of SSD. And I'll show you a few components that uh, can be bad. This is a memory chip. Usually here sits another one. These are all the small components and there is a controller that sits right here. I'll show you now. It's very small. This is the, this is the controller that sits right here. Now, can either be a, a one of the small components, controller or the memory chip. Everything can be repaired. It's ridiculously expensive to repair it if you go to a shop that does data recovery. They can, for example, if it's a little capacitor, they can just take it out and everything can work. They can read the memory chips with a machine that costs a whole fortune or tell it costs like 20,000 euros or something. Or they can replace any of the components and the whole thing can work. Or they can replace the controller and everything can work. Now, it needs to be troubleshooted. And for that reason, you need to plug it in the power, see what uh, gets hot. And depending on what gets hot, it needs to be replaced. In this instance, the controller was getting hot. This is this type of a chip. Can we see the number? We can't because iPhone camera is just ridiculously bad. This, okay. So I did, I bought another SSD. And the first row of numbers, this one here, this one was the same, but this one on the top right corner and the second row was different. And I'll tell you, this is information that I was looking for everywhere. No chance that you can find this information if you don't hear it from this video or someone doesn't tell it to you, it's not on the internet. These chips are self programmable. So if you have memory chips, two of them, and you put this one onto the two of them, it will read it, no problem, if it's good, yeah? These chips, with different numbers on the top and on the second row, this is the production date number and this is the uh, batch number. With the same number on the first row, it will work if you replace the, the controller and the controller is the actual problem. How to find out if the controller is the actual problem? When you plug it in, if the heat is getting from the top every, um, SMD soldering person will know that. When you get your finger on the top, it will suck off the power from the main power rail and it will get ridiculously hot. It will burn your thumb. So after replacement of the controller, it is working. You can see here, I got this one. Where is it? Here, yeah. So this was a non-working. I swapped the boards. You can see this board is long and black. This board is short and blue. This one got two memory chips. This one got one memory chip and it still works. So, I hope this video helps you. I'm not even, I don't know how to even call it, but this is what I know about data recovery on SSDs. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.